What is poppin' folks? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys are new to the channel, smash that freaking subscribe button. Be sure to be carrying your big bass energies today, folks. Also hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and comment below some video suggestions. So, we have a cool little video today. I haven't been to Walmart and done a fishing kit in quite some time. Now, the last time I did it was when I built my own. But rather than that, like getting a fishing kit from Walmart, it's been a while, man. So we're gonna go inside, we're gonna be taking every single fishing kit that they have, laying them out, and figuring which <laughs> figuring out which one is going to be the best fit for today's video for us to catch a bunch of good bass. But if you guys wanna check out the merch, guys, this is one of the best sellers. Everybody's been digging this one right here. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll leave the link below. That really supports me, man. It helps with my gas money when I do a lot of traveling trips. So I greatly appreciate it if some of you guys joined on to Team KTB TV. Plus, I just love seeing you guys repping the merch, man. It's awesome to spread the word around and also spread the word for Big Bass Energy, baby. Hashtag it below. Let's go ahead and get inside of Walmart, see what they have and then get out and catch some fish. All right, so we just made it into the Walmart fishing section. We're gonna be trying to find a fishing kit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look around, find every single fishing kit they got. We're gonna lay them out, and then we're gonna layer them down. We're gonna see which one's possibly gonna be the best one for the fishing challenge today. So let's go ahead and start looking. Let's see what fishing kits they got. If you guys wanna see some more like this, like I said, smash that freaking like button, get the 10K likes. I know you guys can do it. Let's go ahead and get it started. All right, here we go. We got all the baits, but that is not really what we're looking for. Let's start down here and work this way. Let's see if we see any kits. So I did see some stuff down here on the end, and these are some crankbait fishing kits. Uh, pretty basic, you know, I would wanna do one like this, but I don't know, maybe maybe some other time. Let's look at this one. So we got like chartreuse crankbait, little crawdad crankbait, little natural one. These are smaller. Um, this one's a little bit different. It's got some bigger ones. As you guys can tell, like a little bluegill pattern, shad pattern. Uh, it's all right, man. It's nothing too much. And these are $10, okay? $10 right there. So those are two different crankbait packs. But let's go ahead and keep looking and see what else I got. I saw another one down here. Where is he? Where is he? There's one right here. This is actually a saltwater fishing kit. If you guys would like to see one like this, let me know. I don't know if we're going to do this today. But this is a little complete trout slash redfish fishing kit. Let's see if we can see what's in here. We got some like little jig heads right there. Got some weights. Got some bobbers. Got a leader. What else we got? That's just a leader right there. Um, we got some nasty old gulp in there, man. That's gonna be some smelly stuff. What else we got? Here is a fly fishing kit. This is pretty unique, but I am not gonna be able to throw this, man. I don't have a fly fishing rod, nor have I ever gone fly fishing. If you guys would like to see a fly fishing video, let me know. We got a little crappie kit right here. And this is pretty neat, man. That's something that we can definitely do sometime. Rig up an old spinning reel and uh, try out some little old crappie kits that's pretty cool here's another crappie kit right there and this one is ten dollars these are all about ten dollars most of the fishing kits here's one right here this is a buzz bait fishing kit now we might have to do this one time that's kind of cool man i'd love to do this one that is neat this is actually going to stay on our list today i don't know if we're going to do like a crappie kit or any of the crankbait kits but this one we might be interested in doing like a top water only buzz bait one only problem is it's just all buzz baits yeah they're different colors but i want to see if i can find some more of the variety there is another crappie kit man they got a lot in here they got more crappie kits and baskets in here and uh this has just about everything you need in there. How much is this one? Yep, $10. They're all about $10, man. That one's not bad. What else we got? God, they got a lot in here, man. We got a floating worm fishing kit. I actually like that. This is this is another one that's going to go on our list. I just want to do like a bass kit today. That one's not bad. You got like orange worms. You got some pink ones. You got some uh, yellows. And then some green pumpkins up top. That could be decent. Um, let's keep that one on our list. Keep the buzz bait on our list. And it looks like we got three more down here. Let's go ahead and look at these. So, wow, look at this one. This is a crawl bug kit. It's a little crawdad fishing kit. Holy cow, look at that. Look at that variety right there. How much is this one? This one's $10 as well, $9.96. They're all around the same price. And as you can tell in this one, it comes with a good bit, man. Look at all the different crawls that we have in there. I mean, there's all different colors. You got some black and blue. You got a little bit of orange. You got some uh, watermelon red and then some black and red. 
that could be pretty decent and then this one right here is awesome because it's got a big variety but we've actually already done this video if you guys want to check it out i'll link it down below um this one was actually a really fun little challenge i would love to do this one again since it's more of a variety but we've already done that one so this one's definitely going on our list and then lastly down here what do we get what is this one this is an old U-tail worm kit. So this is like a little curly tail worm kit. And this has green pumpkin. I believe that's uh red red shad. Is that red shad? Is that the color? I, I cannot even think of the name of that color. And then you got watermelon and then you got um gosh man, I'm bad on my colors right now. Cinnamon. Cin no, no, no. What what's that color called? I cannot remember. If you know that color, leave it down in the description box. There's no labels on this. All right, so these are gonna be our options today. Okay, let's lay this out. So we got the worm kit. We got the crawdad kit. We got another worm kit right here, except this one's gonna be more of like a finesse worm. This is actually saying a floating worm. But yeah, those are the three that we got. There's one more down here that we looked at. Where's it at? Buzzbait, buzzbait, buzzbait. Okay. And then we got this one. So let's lay them out. Let's kind of break them down and uh, see which one's going to be the best for today. So lately, the fishing's been quite rough, guys. Quite rough. So when I'm looking at this, the buzz bait, I just don't know if it's going to happen today, to be completely honest with you guys. The conditions actually look very great for a buzz bait, but I know the fishing's been tough. Okay, so if we're wanting to go with something slow, we got a finesse worm kit right here. Floating worm. That would be killer. I know we can get it done. This one with the curly tail worms, I know this one would be good. I just, I, I feel like these would be like really easy, man. And then right here, we have the crawdad kit, okay? I've been really thinking about this one because I've seen it for a while and I've never like attempted to go do it. So I'm thinking this one, man, to be honest with you. This one's actually already open. We need to grab us another one. Is this one open? Oh, this one's good, okay. So I think we might have to go with the crawl bug kit. We can break it down when we get outside, but uh, I think this is the one that we're going with. This is actually $10, just like the other kits. Um, they're all gonna be around 10 bucks. So I think we're gonna go with this one. I feel like this one's probably gonna be the best, best value. And not only that, but it actually comes in a tackle box. See, these are just like little tiny containers. Yeah, that's cool. But uh, I think we're gonna have to go with this guy. Let's go ahead and go pay for him. And then let's go outside open it up and actually see what's all inside all right folks we have made it out to the place that we're going to be fishing today got the got the fishing kit got the one more fishing kit ten dollars we're going to open it up now and we're going to reveal what's inside we saw briefly like through the thing that oh yeah we got some crawls oh yeah we got some different colors but man we gotta we gotta get that up close and personal shot man i'm ready guys i'm pumped i'm ready i got my big bass energy on right now man i got my confidence up i never fished this bait it looks a little eh it's not something I'd normally fish, so I'm excited. All right, here goes the reveal. Okay, come on, you little Twinkie. Come on, you little boy. All right, whoa. Wow. Ooh, they got different sizes, man. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, at first, I didn't think they were gonna give me more than two hooks, but they did, man. They did leave this slot open. I'm kinda disappointed in that, but they gave us six hooks total. They gave us three different weights, okay? This guy is probably the perfect one to use today. These are a little light, man, especially if I'm gonna be throwing on a bait caster. This one we could probably get away with. Um, but the best one is definitely probably the heaviest right here. That's probably going to be the best trick. So now it's going to determine, all right, what crawl do we use? But let's go ahead and like take these out and let's get a look. Oh, wow. Look, look how realistic that honestly looks. That is pretty neat, man. I've never used anything that looks like very identical to a crawl dad. And that is pretty neat, man. Like when you use a crawl, you usually don't use crawls that look identically to a crawl dad like this one does in particular. But um, honestly, it looks pretty good. I just don't know about the action on it, but that is the small one. Let's get one of the big ones out. Let's get one of these. Or oh God, dude, that's like a legit crawfish. Look at that bad boy. Oh, it's got, oh, look at the colors. Dude, I love that. Look at that. That's actually really cool. So these are the two different sizes. Obviously, if you guys know me, what size do you think I'm gonna be using? Like, let's just, let's just be real here. You guys think I'm gonna be using the big one, right? And you guys are correct. Look at that bad boy. But we gotta determine the colors. So 
I'm kind of impressed, man. I like them. They're a little slimy, man. They're a little slimy boys, but we're going to put these back. And uh, now we're going to figure out what colors we're going to use. So if we look at them all, we got a black and blue. We got an orange and like a, like a, not a tan, but like a grayish on top. We got a watermelon red, and then we have a black and red, which is one of my favorite colors of all time. So when looking at this, I'm going to go ahead and break this down for you guys because I know you guys are probably curious. Black and blue is going to be great for dirty water. The black and red is going to be great for dirty water. Those are both premium dirty water colors that I use all the time. This one's going to be more of for clear water, okay? The watermelon red is something that's going to be great for clear water. This one you can probably use in both. You can get along with. I mean, all of these you can you can get along with, but these are going to be primarily the dirty water colors, clear water color. We're actually going to walk down to the pond, and we're going to figure out the water clarity. We're going to look at it. We're going to see if it's clear. We're going to see if it's a little dirty, and then we're going to decide what color we're going to throw. I think this is a great little lesson learned as well. But what I am going to do is I will go ahead and tie this hook on my rod, and then, yeah, we'll walk down there, and then we'll figure out what color. All right, guys, we are about to get this started. I'm looking at the water right now, and it's one of those weird colors. Like, it's kind of a murky water tone, but it's kind of clearish at the same time. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, and I think I'm going to go with either the black and blue or the red and black. I think I might have to go with the red and black, to be honest with you. I think we're going to start off with that one. And uh, I'm curious to see how this actually rigs up because... One thing that I noticed is there's a hole right down the middle, which is really weird. And I've never fished anything like this. It's a standard basic jig head, which is kind of awkward to put it on anyways. And uh, are they wanting you to rig it this way? That's where I'm confused. Are it, like, since there's a hole in it. See, if that's the way they're wanting it to rig. Uh, <laughs> Dude, this is pitiful. This is pitiful, man. I'm going to be very disappointed if that's the way they want you to rig it. Let's see. That That's definitely it right there. That's going to be the best that it's going to get. Ooh, it doesn't look that bad. Look at that. Okay, we got our hook exposed right there. It's actually looking pretty solid, man. Look at that. And this is the big crawl that I put on. And we're ready to catch some fish, man. This is the black and red. Let's go ahead and get out here, start casting, kind of look at what it looks like underwater and see how we can catch these fish. Looking at this thing underwater... I don't know if you guys can see it right there. I'm gonna see if I can get a look. It really doesn't look that bad. It really doesn't look that bad. I think we're gonna be able to get it done with this thing. I was thinking a little different on this thing when I first bought it, but it's definitely gonna be doable and uh, something that we can definitely catch a fish on today. So we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna hop the old crawl on the bottom with the standard jig head, and we're gonna see if we can catch some good bass today. We're gonna give it a shot, man. We're giving it a shot. And uh, we're going to see what happens. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's test our drag. Always make sure you guys do that. We're going to loosen that up just a tad, one click. And then we're going to tighten it down just a little bit. I had to adjust my reel for this. Um, but rather than that, I think we're good, guys. I think we're good to go. There he is. <laughs> He's a tiny one. He's a tiny one. I mean tiny tiny. What the heck? I saw him bust the bank over there He's chasing some shad up on the bank threw my crawl right in there and he started running off with it Look at that. That is pitiful man. Look how small that bass is But guess what that really doesn't matter man just to get the monkey off her back first fish today That is totally fine man. We got to catch something and uh, you always got to start somewhere that is a future giant. I can tell you that. He is a little fatty. You've been eating, buddy. You just keep doing what you're doing. You're going to be 10 pounds one day. There he goes. All right. Nothing much. But guess what? I'll take it. I'm not mad at all. You know, it's our first fish today. And uh, yes, it was a small one. But we have to start somewhere. We've got to understand that, you know. We don't start off catching five pounders every trip. So you guys made it to the giveaway portion of today's video. I'm actually going to be giving away this tackle kit. The reason I'm going to be giving it away is because I already know what's going to happen after I'm done using this. This is going to get thrown in my garage and I'm never going to touch it again. So I'd rather give it to somebody that's going to use it. So if you guys are wondering how to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is smash that freaking like button, hit the subscribe button, Hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button, and that is it. You guys are entered to the giveaway. Here is the last giveaway winner. I'll pop it up on the screen right now. 
congratulations. Be sure to DM me on my personal Instagram at Noah Pescatelli and I will get the package or this, uh, not this box, the, the last giveaway. I'll get the giveaway shipped out to you guys. But I um, hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. This one's been a grind. Let's hop back into it. Fish chasing bait right there. See if we can catch him. Yep. Another baby. Dude, I jacked him. All right, he came off. <laughs> that was another one about, he might have been a tiny bit bigger than that last one. He did the same thing, man. I watched him chase bait right up on those rocks that are right there. And I threw in there and he just tackled it. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's got it. Dude, why are you so small? He hammered that sucker too. Look how small this is about the same size as the last one. Why am I catching fish like this? Yes, I ain't throwing the big baits, man. I know, but that is a just, ugh. No, buddy. I'm sorry, but no. Okay, well, we've had three bites. <laughs> Fairly quick, I will give it that. Just not the size that we want, man. Not the size at all. We want some biggins. Oh my God. Oh, yo, 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 yo. That was actually a good one, man. I thought he was a small one. So I just like lifted up kind of how I did with the other ones. And then I felt him tug and he came off. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Is this really how it's going to go? It bent my hook out, man. <laughs> it bent my hook out. It actually did it. Dude, really? We've hooked literally quarter pound fish and then we hook a good one and it just bends the hook straight out. That is not a good sign, man. I'm not gonna be happy with that one. Golly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I kind of cheated. <laughs> I kind of tried to go ninja mode on you guys, and I had to grab the schwanky. I, I, I'm sorry, dude. I really am, but I threw two casts with it and caught a fish. Something was telling me Noah threw the schwanky because a big bass is going to eat it, and it was just in the back of my head, and I know we're doing the crawl challenge. I mean, does that count as a crawl? <laughs> guys, this is like, I, I'm addicted to this bait. Like I've been addicted to the chatterbait for a long time, but I'm starting to get addicted to the Schwanky by six cents. And I just, I don't know, man. It's, it's, I'm sorry, man, I really am. One eternity later. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No way. Dude, dude, this is a good one, dude. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I spooked one in front of me in this sucker. I watched him come out over there. I think there's multiple. Just ate it. That is a beautiful fish right there. Not bad, about a pound and a half. Oh, thank you so much, buddy. Finally a decent fish on this crawl. I do not mind catching them like that. If I can catch them like that today, I would be more than happy. Gosh, thank the Lord. Oh, well guys, I'm Mm, I'm kind of embarrassed to say this man so everything that you just watched I am go I'm gonna say that this was yesterday okay I, and this is the next day and I thought I'd sit down and kind of talk about it I spent you guys are ready to hear this this is how much time I spent fishing with that bait I spent almost seven hours okay seven hours guys fishing with that bait and all I caught were those like four fish it was extremely tough for me extremely tough this is almost like this is seriously embarrassing to me but at the same time it isn't because one I've had a rough time with the challenge videos recently um, and two the fishing has just been so rough and when you put something in front of them that you don't think they're gonna eat sometimes that's how, that's the way it goes and uh you know, I hate to even say that I couldn't catch any more fish on it, but I'm 
being completely honest with you. I cut out so much footage. I actually lost two more fish. I lost one that was almost five pounds um, and I got really aggravated and let's just say that that part um, is not going to make it into the video. Uh, I couldn't even make my outro yesterday. I was just, I was mad, man. I, I really was. And uh, it just shows you every day you go out, you just can't catch them. And I want you guys to see this video. Usually I wouldn't even post something like this. Like usually I would just say, okay, I'm not posting this video. We're gonna film something different. Recently it's been super tough. I'm, I'm a super busy person. If you guys don't know, um, I'm a full-time student in college as well. I'm a senior in college, which make, makes it a little bit harder. Um, and yeah, so, I kind of wanted to make this a little realistic and and just straight up show you guys how I did and that is exactly how I did. I cut out a lot of stuff, but um, yeah, only those four fish all day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Needless to say, um, I promise you I'm gonna have some bangers coming out soon, but I just want to keep this one raw and just show you guys straight up this is actually what happened. But if you guys are new to the channel, I promise you guys I post some killer content. I'm sorry I didn't get the big fish today, but uh, I love you guys so much. Smash that freaking subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll catch you guys next video.